I created Species Nutrition with one mission in mind, to provide bodybuilders and serious athletes with no-nonsense supplements that work. I put my name and reputation on every bottle of Species Nutrition products. If you want to be your absolute best, join the evolution. Welcome back to the Midday Muscle. I'm Tarla. Who am I? So if you didn't catch that recap Wednesday yesterday, you're definitely going to want to add that one to your queue because we gave a full rundown of the highlights of the action-packed weekend. But even with four shows on the slate, we all know that the biggest headlines of the weekend came from the guest posers at the Pittsburgh Pro, who all went out there and looked incredible in their own right. Big Rami made up for last year's no-show by showing up in the best guest posing shape that we've seen from him in a long time. And last year's breakout star Derek Lunsford was absolutely insane, even by his standards. And we had 212 champ Sean Clarita out there looking like a supersized version of what he was at the Arnold a few months ago. And that's not all. We also had Samson Dowda, Hunter Labrada, and Nick Walker all making some major statements of their own. So instead of us trying to dissect this, we'll just wrap it up with a question. Who do you think was the most impressive athlete on stage last weekend? Tell us who and why in the comments, because we're curious to see who you guys think had the biggest impact with their performance. Now, for as impressive as Sean Clarita was last weekend, if you're a 212 fan, I'm sure the update from Angel Caldron slipped in earlier this week didn't go unnoticed. I'm sure the update that slipped in from Angel Calderon earlier this week didn't go unnoticed because the number one contender in the division looks like he's already pulling out all the stops to bring Sean's title run to an abrupt end in November. After what we saw from Sean last weekend, it's easy to throw a little bit of extra weight toward him repeating again this year. But there's also a solid argument to be had for Angel being equally as impressive with his own offseason look because there's only a handful of guys in all of bodybuilding who walk around with this level of conditioning. He's been steadily working his way up the rankings in this division for a reason, and I think it'd be a mistake to discount his chances to play the role of spoiler this fall. And we've also got a new update for you today from long friend of the show, Roman Fritz, who posted this update a few days ago ahead of his season debut at the Empro Classic in Spain. Outside of the fact that his conditioning looks like it's going to be spot on, which has pretty much been the case for him from day one, the other thing that should really jump out to you here is the thickness that he added during the last offseason. According to his camp right now, his weight is hovering somewhere close to the 270 range, which would put him on pace to be heavier on stage than he was last season, and that should really help to show off the crazy structure he has when he's dialed in. Right now, this M-Pro lineup looks like it's shaping to be pretty solid on paper, but if he can hit the ground running here, he should be right there in the thick of it, fighting for a spot in the first callout. So as just previously mentioned, the M-Pro lineup is looking pretty crazy. But if Michael Crizzo ends up bringing his talents to Spain for his season debut like we're hearing, then the hype leading into this show goes up by about 10 levels, because he's one of the most intriguing competitors in all of bodybuilding right now. The bits and pieces that we've seen from him during the offseason have been absolutely out of control, including the guest posing appearance that he made a few weeks ago, where he looked absolutely enormous and showed off better midseason conditioning than we've seen from him at any point during his short time on the pro league circuit. If he can touch down here and deliver a signature win where he blows everyone else out of the water, our guess is that we'll start to hear some people make a strong case for him as a top six contender this year in the not too distant future. Today's to the end of another Midday Muscle. Thanks for watching us always, and we will see you next time.